My question is for the Minister of Energy. As we all know, the federal carbon tax is unnecessarily increasing the cost of everything that Ontario needs on a daily basis. Like our Premier said, the delivery of every product we have in this province is being affected by the worst tax this country has ever seen. It's a useless tax, and that's the federal carbon tax. Mr. Speaker, we continue to remain laser-focused on keeping costs down for Ontario families and businesses, but the carbon tax is working against us. Mr. Speaker, can the minister please explain how the carbon tax is driving up costs for Ontarians' everyday life and what we need to do to keep costs down? To respond, the Minister of Energy. Thanks very much uh, to the member from Essex for another great question. Uh, the cost of the carbon tax isn't just affecting the price at the pumps. It's affecting the price of everything. And the Minister of Agriculture certainly knows this. It's affecting the price of the farm gate because the farmers are putting fuel in their tractors. The farmers are using fuel to dry their grains. The transportation it takes to get those products to the food terminal, to the grocery store, is driving up the cost of everything, Mr. Speaker. You know, last week we had a debate here on energy costs, and the NDP expressed their fake concern about the cost of energy, Mr. Speaker. We know that in three weeks' time, the federal government Order. is going to be increasing the carbon tax by another 23 per cent, Mr. Order. Speaker. If members of this Spons. legislature wanted to make a difference, they'd phone their buddies Jugmeet and Justin, and they would put a pause on that federal carbon tax on April. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the Minister for his response. This is exactly why our government spoke up about the carbon tax and why we fought it tooth and nail all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada. It's ludicrous that the federal Liberals intentionally disregarded the welfare of most people in Ontario by blatantly ignoring how the carbon tax is leading to increased home energy costs. Speaker, the most concerning part is that it's only going to get worse from here. The federal government and the opposition Liberals and NDP want to nearly triple the tax by 2030. That is unacceptable. Speaker, can the minister explain why Ontario families cannot afford the tax increases that the Liberals and the NDP want to foist on the hard-working people of Ontario? Minister of Energy. Mr. Speaker, uh, thanks again to the member from Essex who really cares about making sure that people in his riding and across the province can afford to eat at the end of the day. You know, during his question, we just had a member from the NDP say, get over it. Get over the carbon tax, Mr. Speaker. There's one party in this legislature that actually cares about affordability, whether it's decreasing the cost of the gasoline tax, whether it's removing tolls from our highways, or taking away the license fees on our plates, Mr. Speaker. There's one party focused on driving down the cost of living, and it's Premier Ford and our Progressive Conservative Party. Now, it's real simple. It's real simple. April 1st is coming. The federal carbon tax is set to rise again by 23 per cent in just over three weeks' time. Will the members of the NDP, will they just Response. say get over it, or will they call Jugmeet, and will they demand that Justin Trudeau put a pause on that federal carbon tax so people can afford to live in our country?